missed going to shows? I know I sure have, but think about the people who earn a living putting those shows on. Well, after thousands of festivals, events, and live performances were canceled, people in the music industry continues to struggle mightily during the pandemic. NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson has a look at what they're dealing with. A career musician most of his life. I got into music around age six. My parents got me into piano lessons. Matthew Suit Anderson travels around the Midwest, singing and playing keyboard with Wisconsin-based band Apollo's Beacon. We used to pull around a uh, hundred shows a year. We've lost about two thirds of those shows. And with that, a big chunk of income. Nobody's getting the support out there for the loss that we've had over this time. More people can use this time to fine tune their craft at home. And while more practice is always great, the lack of live performances is taking a heavy financial toll on every corner of the business, including event staff and venues. As a local nonprofit, of course it's devastating. Fox City's Performing Arts Center normally has upwards of 400 events a year. Our last public performance was actually on March 12th. We have not been able to reopen to the public since. Organizers with Save Our Stages estimate that 77% of live event workers have lost 100% of their income during the pandemic. Our family members in this industry find themselves without work right now, and it is a very difficult time. Which is why both Anderson and Van Lannen are joining major music organizations in asking Congress for COVID-19 aid. We need to make sure that we are talking to our elected representatives about the importance of passing more funding to help. Until then, the music will ring on. Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26. Kelsey with the story and the short violin performance. Kelsey, thanks so much. Enjoyed it.